Hello everybody, this is Amir from Tech Automotive. What we have today is a 2022 Honda Civic and hopefully we'll be able to guide you on how to find the airbag module and how to replace it. So, this is where the location of the airbag module is. Now, as you can see, there is the plastic cover right over here. And hopefully I can guide you a bit on not making a mistake like one of the guys did. So, getting over here. This is the old one. As you can see, it's all broken up because they tried to just pull it from the side just to get the screws off, but ended up breaking. So we had to order a whole new one from the dealer. It took about 10 days to come in. Now, I use this kind of as a guide just to see where the hooks and the mounts would be. These here, I thought maybe they had some clips, but actually they're just a slide on. So it's just basically like a pull after removing the two screws on the back right here. So let's get back in the car. So first thing you wanna do is actually pull this up. And as you can see, there's tabs that hold on to this part right here. So once you pull this up, um, there's just a few cables underneath that you could disconnect. And right here is a bracket that kind of holds on to both here together. Now, once you unhook that, it's also clips. So on these new models, what's nice is they're mostly clips, not much screws. Then you could actually just pull this one up. Now here, you would want to move the shifter to, um, you know, drive or the low right here. So you'll be able to actually pull this out towards the gear you are going to find one screw holding all this together so there's only one screw that's you know once you put this in the l right now the battery's dead on the car but i'm just doing this quick you put it in l and then you'll be able to actually remove the screw and then pull this whole thing off so when you do that you're going to notice in, in here there's going to be one screw like behind this that's holding this whole piece together so once you take off that one screw and you got two on the side from this right here. So you are going to have to go to the back. So this piece right here, it's also a clip on. So you just unclip it and then you're going to see like these right here. You got one, two, you just remove these from over here and you'll be able to actually just pull it and then you can just pull up now. It's a little tricky with the seat in, but it is possible. As long as you just pull up, you'll be able to take the whole thing off instead of just pulling on it and probably breaking it. So, a few other things. So once you're able to, it's mostly the driver's side that you really need to remove the whole thing. Um, you're gonna see there's two screws on the side. And then on the other side, you could actually try to just pull a little bit of it on the side. So here we are on the other side. So you got this right here, you just gotta pull down. And then this one over here, you could actually just pull a little bit and because it's just one screw. So I think, I don't know, I was able to just remove that one screw without removing the whole thing. But you could just unscrew it from the side over here and remove the whole thing if you wanna do it 100% right and not break anything because these could take long to come in. And like I said, we had somebody who was doing an estimate on uh, fixing the suspension and some other things but it looks like for them to try to see how long it would take them to access it, uh, they ended up breaking it. Um, so these models are a little different. Um, they're, the module is not here or in the back. I know some uh, older models did have the module here, but these are a lot easier because you don't have a lot of metal brackets in between. So it's literally just doing this. Now, these also, if the airbags were deployed, most likely the driver's side seatbelt's gonna deploy also the rear ones are going to deploy so this was kind of a first for me i never you know realized that even if they're not used that they could still deploy you would have to remove the side airbags and you'll be able to remove the seat bolts now those are covered in the back by this cover you could actually pull up by removing clips and actually changing the whole seat belt driver's side seat belt was also pretty easy it's uh, one screw holding it from over here and then down here it, it, it is a three-stage seat belt, so they do have one in here and you have two connectors that go on it and two screws holding it. So pretty easy, pretty simple. You can also do the steering wheel airbag replacement. 
this you would have to get the clock spring as well it, the cables are always going to be bad so you can order from the dealer they're not expensive they're like around 30 dollars. and then also the knee airbag is very easy there's only two screws holding it and if you guys have any questions feel free to ask thank you for watching and please be sure to subscribe